Have you ever thought what it takes to compete in the toughest professional bake of competition where the most respectable industry's judges assess your work? Today, I invited Evaldus to my home. He went to the very end of the competition so we can talk about things that are not shown on TV. Let's deep dive into the behind the scenes of the Bake Off, the professionals. From TV screen to my home. I'm so excited to have Evaldus at my home and we're going to talk about the Bake Off, the professionals. Welcome. Hello. So to begin with, I'm actually curious to know how hard it was to get there. Was it a high volume of applicants? We didn't know actually how many applicants was, because they didn't reveal of course. Mm -hmm. The most important the thing and the part of that application was when you get through to the next stage. Mm -hmm. Then when you get to another stage and then you think, might be will be that moment, then you get through to the big off. Your hotel was happy to support you. Did they give you any financial support in terms of buying ingredients or equipment that you had to prepare for the competition? Um, you know, won't go far without extra financial support. Yeah. Because um, on the chocolate, even for the on, on the sculptures, you need to spend quite a bit. Uh, it was like uh, maybe two thousand, three thousand uh, pounds on the chocolate only which it was only from the hotel but I spent some as well for the courses for master classes just from my pocket you probably participated in a course with Martin Schiffers right yeah. he was kind of mentoring you so this is one of them how else you invested your time in the preparation um, for this so Martin Schiffers was on the chocolate uh, sculptures and all the uh, skills and knowledges Another our friend was Jonathan Dedes, mm -hmm. who, uh, who spent his time uh, to help us to improve on sugar skills. The filming place looks absolutely stunning, but I wonder how long did it take you to get there every single time? Was it one filming per week? Normally yes, it was one filming per week, so we stay uh, two to three days. We set everything on the day one, then we preparing our stuff, mm -hmm. then we managing all the equipment then when everything's over we're back to hotel which is uh, like 15 minutes by uh, by one then we get back and then wake up next uh, next day morning we go there and we start and since you were there from the beginning to the very end how long did it actually take like how many months or weeks from autumn till uh, till the winter every constantly every week uh, we know a uh, theme, what is going to be week after week. And then we, uh, we, give, we send the ideas, then we know what's going to be for the next episode. You get the sheets with, the, with your tasks, let's yeah. say in autumn, yeah. and you finish filming in, let's say, late spring or early Yes, spring? March. March? Yeah, we start on... Okay, so it's the, almost half a year. Maybe. Yeah, so it starts February, beginning of February. Um, Everything's finished end of March, let's say. Because I always see uh, chefs are struggling a little bit because it's cold. <laughs> yeah. When you take an interview outside, it always you know with the hoodies. Before all the episodes in the morning, when it's like sometimes minus three, minus four, mm -hmm. minus five, and I just sting there. <laughs> with your chef whites. <laughs> with your chef whites, because you need to look professional, yeah. no matter what the environment gives for you and uh, what weather is it. But this is part of the game and it makes more interesting for yeah. everyone. Yeah. This is an actually silly question, but do you get to choose the color that you want to wear like your chef wise? Because every team has a different color. Different color. Some are pink, some are red. Did you choose yours? Uh, or was it we wish, allocated but for not. You? I was allocated. Yeah, that's it been, uh, it been chosen for us. Not too low. Because no. I'm always like, uh, I no, remember I'm, start, I'm, 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 try, I'm start with this line and now I'm uh, out of this line. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. It's okay. And how many cameras are there? And do you really feel the pressure of the camera and the camera crew? Or you're that focused that you don't really see what's happening around? There's a lot of cameras. You got a uh, microphone. So if something's going wrong, then all the friendly guys, the cameramans, they're going to, uh, to you and then they just uh, try to catch that moment. First episode is a bit different, a bit 
bit complicated to, to mm -hmm. deal with it. Sometimes you bump in each other and we just uh, apologize. And it's sorry, it's very, mate. Yeah, sorry. And then, <laughs> I'm in the rush. <laughs> as you train for chocolate masterpiece, for sugar craft uh, centerpieces as well, which challenge you found the most difficult one? Was it any particular part? So one of the most difficult I remember was quarterfinal when you need to combine sugar and chocolate chew piece. And that day it starts with very heavy raining. I uh, was uh, low humidity and was very hot in the studio. To make it cooler, they need to open the doors. So the whole humidity goes in and I remember my, my chocolate and sugar start to fall off. They didn't stick to each other because of humidity. As soon as I put sugar uh, element on the showpiece, it starts to get sticky very quickly. So it absorbs very fast all the humidity very quickly. But those things you cannot uh, predict. It, uh, exactly. If it happens, it happens and you need to, you need to deal with it. Yeah. When we start, normally in winter is around 10, 12, 13 degrees. But after a day, when all the lamps is on mm. and uh, all the equipment is on, it can go up to 25, 26, 27 degrees. Which, when the sugar work and chocolate com need to combine together, while someone's cooking sugar, someone does chocolate. So the chocolate is, for chocolate is too hot, but for sugar it's perfect. So uh, that's one of those challenging episodes when you need to combine chocolate and sugar. Yeah. That's actually very interesting to hear from the person who actually been there in the kitchen because for the viewer it may look like, oh, he didn't prepare enough. It's actually really weather and environment that sometimes cause a showpiece to collapse. But how about a secret recipe challenge where it takes you by surprise and literally test your skills on that particular moment? Mm -hmm. How did you find that one? When you send all the themes, on that week we just see secret challenge. That's it. Black. So, black, yeah. <laughs> so the secret challenges, they're actually, they're secret. <laughs> they're secret and it's a they, proper they're, challenge. They're, a they're real secret challenges and we don't know how will be and what's gonna be there underneath the blanket. So there were quite a few teams that they really struggled to complete the... <laughs> there <we go. laughs> I'm going to black, black and white screen now. We're putting it as a blooper. Yeah. <laughs> I just told him a minute ago, I hope you don't capture my stomach on the camera. That's a guess, the goodness. I saw that actually quite a few teams didn't manage to completely finish the task mm -hmm. in terms of chocolate masterpiece or sugar craft. Is it really about time pressure that it's not enough time to complete the task? or is it your own time management and efficiency? We need to complete our showpiece not in three hours. We need to complete mm -hmm. showpieces and the desserts in two and a half hours. Always they have to be half an hour spare. So that's why it's very important on your training to manage your time to have ahead another half an hour spare for you, which you can use it up on the filming day. And how about the judges? Are they as strict on self as on offset. So the judges, they trying to motivate mentally everyone around us. So uh, they give us thumbs, they give us five, uh, they hug you. Uh, so if something's happened wrong in the first day, so they encourage and motivate, okay, it's, uh, everyone has the band -aid, but the next day is gonna be your day. So you're gonna nail it, that uh, challenge. is so, and motivate is so important for yeah. everyone to don't not go down the first day and to, to just to step up and uh, you do the best what you can next challenge. Do you think some chefs were far behind or far ahead of others in terms of skill of the chefs? It depends on the environment where you're working. Mm -hmm. And if someone works in the hotel, for example, okay, they are very good in showpiece. If someone works in the Michelin star restaurants, of course, they're going to be very good in the in terms of flavor, mm -hmm. on the textures, on the dessert. If someone works in the pastry shop, they're gonna do they're gonna be very good about cakes, they're gonna be on the macarons, 
So it depends on the flexibility, how you adapt your uh, weaknesses and how you adapt your uh, strength. How about other participants? Did you maintain the friendship or after the show you kind of went on your own ways? No, we, uh, we kept as a, f a good friends uh, after all. That friendship, it still stays even closer for, for everyone. We create uh, as a forum, as a chat group where we can share knowledge. So we can share uh, our interests uh, with some workplaces, where we work. Very interesting, we're very excited to see how Big Off touch everyone around us. We become like a uh, Big Off pastry community. Nice. Uh, so which, uh, it's good for everyone. Did you get any financial reward or, or it was more like a title being one of the best chefs in the UK? But end of the big off, it stays as it is and uh, we believe we improve in our selling followers. Some of the customers when they came, they want to meet us, to get with and talk with us how we been in the big off. So um, we become a bit, I don't say um, famous or uh, known, but just it was good for hotel, it was good for us. Do you feel you get recognized in Lithuania? And how about here in London? Very good question and uh, what is most interesting thing that you get more recognizable from your country mm -hmm. than from the country where Bake Off has been, uh, where TV has been shown. So probably the UK was more about the momentum and uh, Lithuania was more about long-lasting uh, Exactly. Uh, result and they wanted to know you more and, and yeah, like that. yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah. Was it I don't even know what I'm gonna ask for this question. <laughs> Let's just ignore. You it, was, it, was no, okay. you. it was okay. <laughs> just give him the answer, right? <laughs> Yeah, it was Actually, uh, there was a very famous phrase Chefs, five minutes left Is it really five minutes or it's just made for the show? Uh, it's five minutes yeah. It is, it's, 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 real, it's real five minutes But uh, how they, that five minutes will appear in the television That is their the job So how they okay. make it, uh, how they frame that moment The start as well So we try a few stars and the last one, I say, okay, that is gonna be the real start, and then we start to count the time. So you always cook like at least for 24 people each time. So what happens with all the food? Because you ma make a massive quantity of all the desserts. Mm -hmm. So all the food goes to a filming team. It goes uh, for production team as well. So it's a huge, huge team like 30, 35 people that works there, so okay. it goes it goes very quickly. Nothing the... was wasted. I saw that some chefs came back to compete. Uh, would you consider doing that again? Or you think it was a nice experience and th that's it? I think that uh, many chefs, they want to go there, but you need to perform better, you need to appear better there, you need to... You, you, everything is about the pressure and the pressure on your shoulders. Everyone wants, but uh, you need to perform better, mm -hmm. definitely. And finally, what would you suggest for those interested in participating in this competition? What advice would you give? It's about not about only competition, it's about engagement, uh, dedication to your workplace is about uh, sacrifice your time. It's about uh, you have a environment where you can practice with your uh, teammates and if you see your weaknesses try to turn to strength. That sounds beautiful. <laughs> Eldest, I cannot thank you more for coming all the way to my home and sharing all your experience. I appreciate it so much and I wish you very best in the future because you already mentioned that you are moving back to Lithuania and you're going to start uh, your own business. So I wish you very, very best of luck. Definitely looking forward uh, to see you there. And, uh, cannot wait to start a new Mare chapter. <laughs> That's beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.